It seems like just yesterday, the Austin base for the crew's driverless taxis was humming with activity. This is where the cars would come in to be cleaned up and recharged. But this is what the crew's site looks like today, just weeks after the company said it was, in their words, pausing its operations nationwide. The cars, the workers, even the security fence are gone. Here in Texas, autonomous vehicles are regulated by the state, and Austin has been their first real-world test. But after a serious injury accident in San Francisco, their city attorney is urging California state leaders to be cautious about AVs going forward. We want to make sure that if there is going to be expansion, that it is tied to safety and performance metrics. In the California accident, a cruise vehicle hit a pedestrian. The vehicle stopped, but then dragged the woman about 20 feet. It's important to note this accident was not the fault of the cruise vehicle. In fact, Cruise says in its first million miles of operations, 94% of all traffic collisions were the fault of the other party. At first glance, that self-driving car did what we've been told many times before. If the car is still drivable after the crash, get it off the road. But actually, there's something you should do first. TxDOT says you should move your vehicle out of the roadway after rule number one, checking for injuries, and if people are hurt, tend to them. Cruz noticed that missed step two and is looking into their collision detection system, which they note may cause the Cruz AV to attempt to pull over out of traffic instead of remaining stationary when a pullover is not the desired post-collision response. We saw one Cruz AV today in Austin with a human operator at the wheel, perhaps a sign that they're testing a fix. It's not known when crews will resume operations in Austin. The company admits they need to rebuild public trust first. Fred Cantu, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.